All right. Hello, this is Christian. So in this uh, video uh, tutorial, we're going to create a list of user objects that will look something like this list here. Okay, so it's a collection of user object. Now the user data will be something like this one here. So this is a list of user dictionaries, right? So this is one dictionary here and, and so forth. I have five user data here. So they did data here. Actually, I just basically pulled from this text file that makes basically copy this first five here and then build it into a, um, a user data uh, dictionary. And then we're going to convert this into an object using a class called user, right? So this is the, the idea here. So first thing we're gonna do is go over here and or we create a new file. And I wanna say this as a um, user.py. This will be the, the user file for the class. So I'm gonna go up here and create a class called user. And we need the init function, need the ID called user underscore ID, uh, first, last, and then email. So if the user is equal to a <clears throat> uh, user ID. Okay, so I also like you to build your own uh, setters and getter as well. So this would be like the setters the methods, very simple. Diff the get user ID, we need to self in here. And um, for, for, oh, actually this will be the setter, okay? So setter, we need set, we did the user ID. I'll make it really short. So just a one liner. Here we just basically set the user ID, the user ID, okay? And this will be the, uh, not del, should be a definition. Set first. Set last. Set email. Okay, so that's how my that's how my setter, setters and I also need my getters. Will be similar except we call it get user ID. Okay, this is just the self, and we're going to return self dot user ID. And you see the pattern here, right? So get uh, first, self, and then return first, return self first. Okay. <clears throat> the reason why you create get etc. is usually because you don't want to access the data fields directly from the object. So usually, you know, you want to use functions so that you can have more control. Okay, so that is my user class. All right, <clears throat> and uh, once we test it, we'll see if it uh, has any errors. The next thing is we want to import both of the user class and the user data here. I already created this object uh, into the main program over here. So that's what I want to do. First, let's do, a um, import from the uh, user file, import the user class, capital U. And the other one is, you know, you can do it this way, or you can also import everything in the user file. So you can also do it this way um, from user data import. Simply user here is fine, or sometimes you can put like star here, like that. You know, it's a well card, but um, well card means everything, right? So you just put user here is fine. All right, so that's my import. Let's create a main function. Okay, for now let's invoke it down here before we forget at the bottom. All right, so what do we need, right? So the user has those fields. And what I'm gonna do is um, I'm going to read each of those, you know, uh, data from the user. And we're gonna create a user, a user's list just like this. So first let's create a list. Uh, user list, it's gonna be empty list first, <clears throat> okay? And then now we're gonna go through that list of users. So we say for every 
um, user uh, for every let's say key and value I taught you before this one right? key value value pair every key value in the users dot items okay that will pull both the key and value fields that means it's going to grab both the ID for the key value for the value here and so go through there every uh, every field here actually I didn't I didn't correctly every this is a, a individual object so I let me do one more thing before I do that. I have to say for every user and the users, and then for every key and the user items, okay? Because the user here is the dictionary, right? So the user here is referring to again the one I highlighted here. For every user, I pulled that out as the dictionary, and then go every field value from that, and you pull that out, right? Um, that's another way you can do. I mean, lots of ways to do this. Um, Maybe I'm not gonna do this way. It's a little confusing. So let's let's just do that. Sorry. The user is that one. So I'm gonna build a list. I do a really easy way first. So I need to get the user ID from the user dot uh, user of user ID. Okay. I think that's what I call what I call. It's called ID. Oh, just dot ID. I uh, just the ID, not user ID. I call it that. And then I have the first is equal to user of the first pass. Finally, email Oop, the bracket, not the curlies. All right, so that is my actual uh, fields. I get that I put it on fields. And then now you have a couple of options, right? So one, is if you look at this over here, you can invoke the constructor and pass this data directly to it to create each user object, or you can also call the set and you pass the username, first name, individual field this way. So this way you can do either way. So in this example, I'm going to use the constructor to create the new object that way, uh, since I already have my fields here, right? So I'm gonna put like a, a new user, I just put a user here for now. It's going to be the user, pass in the user ID, first, last, email. And that will create that first user into the user object, right? If you want to see what that looks like, you can print it out, of course. Um, but, um, and, and that's going to, um, you're not going to see anything here, okay? You just see a user object, which is not really helpful. But let's say I want to print that out so you can see it. Well, you know what? You can do it later. So every user, when you get the user, so this is the called the user instantiation here. So here, uh, user object instantiation. Okay, you create an object of user, get this information, put it at the user, and then we're gonna add or push this user to the user list up here, right? So you just basically do user list that append, and same as push the user into that list. And then we got the word done. So it goes back to the next user, repeats, grab the data, build the object, pass to that. You keep building the user list, right? So finally, we're going to print it out, right? So here, um, before we do that, I want to just show you what it looks like in the in the in the console over here. So to make it work, we have to make a global variable here. So all you do is inside a function because you cannot put it to global. To do that. You use global user list. Okay, you put that on the top first, and then you can use it anywhere else in the program in the function. And then this will be hoisted out to the global space, becomes a global variable. Okay, um, not don't do this all the time, but if you want to test it out, see what that look, data looks like, you do it this way. So let's see if I go here in the terminal and uh, run the program, and we see what's like. So if it run, you should see the user list over here. If it's all correct. Right, you can see that we have a users. This users, uh, this user list here. Initially, it was um, actually. Did we do something? User list. Yeah, it's still empty. Uh, okay, that didn't do right. Um, let's see. For every user and users, we add that there. We push it to the user, and it's empty. Oh, error. Uh, too many emails. Save that, try again. 
Otherwise, it shouldn't be empty. Oh, come on. Let's clear this. Okay, just write it. Here we go. So we have our user list of five fives. You can see we're moving from the dictionary, right, to a list of object, user, user, user here. So if you open that, you're not gonna see the information because it's a user object. If you drill down, you will see the information, right? So here's the first name, email here, and then uh, the getter and setters all here. All right, so that's how you build a list of users inside um, uh, from a uh, dictionary to a user object. So from the on, you just basically print them out, okay? So to print them out, we can go over here and we say for every user in the user list. So now it's a list of object as opposed to a dictionary, right? So you wanna print, um, I'll use the uh, F format print the user dot, as you can see the like user ID, right? Those are the field that you want to get, but we don't want to go, I don't want to use that way. I want to use their function. So we'll call the user get user ID. Okay, I get that one there. And then next is going to be user dot get uh, first, and then the comma, oops, uh, I have too many curlies there. Each of those should be wrapped in a curly, right? We learned that before. And let's use the multi-line, it's easier to see. Uh, no, well, let me do it. Okay, that's fine. User dot get last, close that, and then finally user dot get email. Okay, and that will look something like that. And if it's just, if you want multi-line, I think you have to use like the triple if it lets me use a triple, okay? Instead of the single quote, you use a triple quote. So that way you can break into a multi-line like this. It's easier to see this way than a single line. Right, so that's your print statement. And we'll see if it prints that outside over here in the console. And here we go. So here is our data printed out over here, one by one, five of them, okay? <clears throat> And that's how you use that. And finally, I always, like I always showed you guys to do this, is break this into functions. So up here, you can go and uh, refactor your code. I use a function called I get users here. And I'm going to just basically uh, remove this. I actually copy this whole thing here. Cut that up, put it inside here. And we're going to return the user. So return user list. Okay. So that means my user list over here will be user list is equal to get users. Okay. There we go. So I got my user. And then finally, that's the print function. So again, def print uh, user list. And then you move this whole thing inside here. And what does it need? It needs that user list. So I need to put that inside here. So again, I want to turn this off. The reason why this works is because this becomes global, right? So we don't want that. I just put it here so you can see it, but normally you don't put that in global space. And then now you see that this is yelling at me saying, hey, I need the user list. Okay, so then you put that inside the parentheses here. And now you call the print function down here. You just pass the user to it. Okay, and user list. And there we go. We have your get input and your output. Processing is not in here, but um, that is the way to do this. So again, save and run. And here is our data. Looks just like before. Okay, so that is uh, how you do it. I skipped the part where you read the data from uh, the text file. You could read a text file here, the line by line. You now do that and extract each line, build that object like I see here, right? Build to an object first um, or however you do it. And then basically push that to your list and build the list this way. So this is how you add object to a list. Thank you.